was diagnosed with leukemia in December of 2010. They put me through uh, real aggressive chemotherapy. And as the treatments were going along, they came to me and they said, look, your best chance of being cured is with a bone marrow transplant. Registering to be on, uh, to be able to donate my bone marrow was something that we as a team had discussed and we decided to run our own drive on campus. So since we were running the drive, we decided, you know, we should all be on the registry because we're all different races, ethnicities. So the more of us that are on the registry, you know, the greater potential there is that someone could be able to help out and actually donate. occurred to me, well, since Matt is graduating, uh, maybe he would be able to come down. I said instead of me spending the money to travel, I chose to bring him down uh, for the game. So it's just my way of saying thank you. Ken called me, I pick up, oh, you know, we chit chat, and then he told me the idea, bring me down, you know, come to the bowl game, all these things, and I, I signed me up. I'm a new UCF fan. The coolest part of the whole thing is finding out that uh, the guy who saved my life by giving me, you know, his bone marrow was a college football player himself. The thing that struck me the most about that, when he, he told me he was a UCF football season ticket holder, I said, what are the odds that the person I donate my bone marrow to is a big time college football fan? That connection is something that it's hard to explain, very hard to explain because he'll say, I saved his life, things like that. It's so severe that our connection is so deep. And the fact that we do have so many interests in common just makes that connection even deeper. So it's a pretty strange feeling. It's very hard to put in words.